guys, so today I am going to be doing a hair care favorites video because I was going through a lot of my monthly favorites videos that I filmed for you guys and I realized that I really neglect hair products in those videos. I think because when I'm kind of preparing for those videos, I will go into my beauty room and just kind of grab all the makeup that I have been using all the time in that month and I just never grab any hair care products. So I wanted to do kind of a dedicated hair care, hair product favorites video with all the stuff that I have been loving for my hair recently. You guys know that a couple months ago I did change up my hair. I used to have like really bright bleach blonde hair um, and then I kind of toned it down to this more ashier toned blonde color. So a lot of the products that I use have changed but I've really been loving a lot of them. I've got to try a bunch of different products since I did change up my hair and um, I'll put my video down below if you guys want to see like what I did to my hair and everything like that because I did make a video about how I got this color and everything. Um, but I figured that I would just film a dedicated video showing you guys all the hair products that I have been loving. This isn't like a monthly favorites for a specific month or anything, more like a current favorites. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what my hair care favorites have been recently, then please just keep watching. So first I will start with shampoos and conditioners and my daily shampoo and conditioner set is from Tara Smith Hair Care and I have been loving these two together recently. I have their Feed the Root shampoo and I pair that with the Shine On conditioner. I love these two. Basically Tara Smith is a celebrity hair stylist and she went ahead and she made her own brand Tara Smith Hair Care and basically her whole thing is she wants her products to be healthy for the person that's using them, healthy for the environment and obviously healthy for your hair. So they're all cruelty free, they're vegan, um, it actually says all on the back. So vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, they're made in the USA and she wants just basically all of her products to be free from harsh chemicals and anything that's going to be bad for you, your hair, and the environment. So I thought that, that was really, really cool. And one thing that I really liked about her products and why I ended up actually getting them is that they are designed for daily use because ultimately you're not going to want to wash your hair every single day. That's just bad for your hair. So I try and go as long as I can without washing my hair every single day, but I find in the summer I wash it much more frequently than I do like in the fall and winter just because I'm outside a lot, it's hot, I'm sweating, and I just feel like once I sweat I have to wash my hair. That's just kind of gross if you don't. So I find that I do wash my hair much more on like a daily basis in the summer. Um, so these are designed for daily use. They're designed to be safe for your hair and to be used on a daily basis. So that was kind of the main selling point for me along with all the other great things about them. Um, and I actually like they have like it says on all of her products on the bottom tested on film stars not on animals which I think is amazing too but the products themselves are awesome I really really like them like I said I like the feed the root shampoo because this gives me a ton of volume especially at the root in my hair because without this I have pretty limp kind of just their hair because my hair is naturally straight and I like to pair it with the shine on conditioner just because it really nourishes my hair and does make it feel a little bit shinier so I like to pair these two together she does actually have a whole line of hair care products it's not just shampoo and conditioner but these two have been my absolute favorites recently so I definitely did want to mention them and there will be a coupon code down in the bottom bar I believe it is Tara 10 uh, which will give you $10 off any purchase of $35 or more and free shipping not an affiliate code or anything like that just a way for you guys to save some money if you are interested in these and um, these are safe on color treated hair as well because I do have color in my hair now not just bleach so I have to make sure that the products that I use don't have any sulfates in them and they do not they don't have any parabens either they're literally pretty much free of anything bad that you wouldn't want to be in a product that you're putting on your head next I will move on to shampoos and conditioners that I do not use on a daily basis this is more of like a once a week type of thing so once a week I like to use this matrix color care so silver shampoo this is a toning shampoo it's a really deep purple color it does have some blue tones to it as well and this is just gonna give me more of an ashier tone this is great if you have like orange in your hair and you kind of want to tone that down basically if your hair is brassy this is gonna banish it this is a little bit more expensive because it is matrix brand so it's more of like a salon brand but I find that this works amazing tones my hair very very well but it does not give me like a gray tone which I can find with some cheaper purple shampoos it just gives like a kind of gray cast to your hair where this does not so I love this and use this about once a week on my hair and that would be when I was not using the Tara Smith products and then once a week I will use my macadamia natural oil deep repair mask I love this stuff it's amazing it's a leave-in conditioner well you don't leave it in forever <laughs> um, you basically I put it on my hair and I'll put my hair up in the shower and leave it on there for sometimes like 20 to 30 minutes I think it says you're only supposed to leave it on for like 
seven minutes <laughs> but I leave it on for a long time and I just find that it makes my hair so soft and shiny so I love doing this treatment like once a week um, don't do it more than once a week though because if you put too much protein in your hair it can have the opposite effect so um, if you do get this product do not like use it every day or anything like that um, but it does make your hair feel phenomenal then for a leave-in product that I put in my hair after I get out of the shower and it is damp I love this organics renewing Moroccan argan oil this is the light version I love this specifically because this brand or Organics makes a light version of this Moroccan argan oil because sometimes actual argan oil is a little too much for my hair because I do have kind of thin straight limp hair so it can get a little greasy if I use like actual argan oil so this is a light version so I mean they probably just cut it with water or something I don't even know but this gives my hair what it needs it nourishes it it makes it look shinier makes the ends look nicer but it doesn't make it look oily so I love this I would definitely suggest it to anyone that does have thinner limber hair if you have more like coarse hair or thick hair you can definitely go with just a regular argan oil but this one is amazing for girls like me that don't got a lot of hair then on to heat sprays this is probably the most important product honestly because you need to make sure if you are ever putting heat on your hair that you are putting a heat protectant on it or you would literally just fry your hair off it would be the same thing as like going out in the sun and baking in the sun all day and not putting sunscreen on so you need to put a heat protectant on your hair before you use heat so my two favorites one is a long time favorite this is the Sally Hirschberger hyperhydration super keratin spray love this stuff this is kind of like a leave-in treatment um, it smells really nice it says it um, softens dry hair conditions and repairs and calms frizz and flyaways but it is also a heat protectant so that's mainly what I use it for because I don't really have frizzy hair or anything but it just again kind of adds a little shine to my hair makes it look nice and kind of sleek so I love spraying this in my hair before I straighten it or I curl it or anything like that you also should be using a heat protectant if you do blow dry your hair before you blow dry it um, basically anytime you're going to be using heat so this is an amazing product you can get this at most drug stores and then another product that I really love but I only have this little version I got this in a box it might have been BoxyCharm um, I'm not sure, but I've really been liking it. And this is the Oscar Blondie Dry Styling Heat Protectant Spray. And this stuff is amazing. It smells really good. Like, oh my God. It, I love the way it smells. First of all, so it just makes your hair smell really nice. But it also does protect here. It says 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to protect it up to 450 degrees, which you should not be putting your hair styling products up any higher than that anyways. Um, so this stuff is amazing. I do think it is pretty pricey. Like I said, I only have this because I got it in a box. I think it's Sephora. This is probably like close to $30, but I might when I'm done with this actually purchase it because I do really, really like it and think that it's a great product. And then last but not least, we have hair styling products. So the first one, I guess I wouldn't really even call this a styling product, but this is my pst dry shampoo. I cannot live without this like if I could pick one product out of all these it would be this one like I love this stuff I use this all the time this is how I get away with not washing my hair on a daily basis obviously much more use this gets in the winter but even if you're outside you're oily you don't have enough time to actually like wash your hair you can use this spray it in it's gonna soak up all that oil and it's just amazing I even use this in my clean hair because it adds a ton of volume too so I like that as well it's kind of like a dual product I just absolutely love this and this is like a pretty stark white product but you really just like work it into your hair and then you won't be able to see it so anyone can use the next product is a newer product to me that I've been loving this summer and this is the Redken texturizing sea spray this is awesome for like those summery beachy ways if you kind of want like a textured like look to your to your hair this stuff is amazing because like I said I have limp hair it's naturally dead straight but if I curl it and I kind of do like loose curls and then spray this in it I can actually kind of get away with with looking like wow that girl kind of has naturally like beachy waves like that's really pretty even though it actually took me like two hours to do it but this stuff is amazing I love this for a salt spray I've tried salt sprays in the past but I always just kind of find that they dry my hair out my hair just looks kind of crappy and dead with them but this one does not do that it just really texturizes the hair it gives me lots of body and just makes those really pretty beachy like boho waves that are perfect for the summer so I have been using this a lot I really really enjoy this product so yeah those are all of my hair care hair product favorites recently that I have been loving let me know what your favorites are for hair products down below I would love to try some more out I have really been on like a rampage of buying hair care stuff um, but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy and I will see you guys very soon in my next video thanks guys bye